The flat rock scorpion is a native of South Africa and the Southern African countries, and he's largely a desert species, but his claim to fame is the fact that he's flat. I mean, the flat rock scorpion, where do you think he lives? He inhabits rocky outcroppings, and he can squeeze into the thinnest of spaces due to his very, very lateral body. I'll try to pick him up a bit so we can, we can see what I mean. You can easily identify a flat rock scorpion, not only because of his flat body, but because of his extremely thin tail is the way I can quickly see that I've got a flat rock scorpion in front of me. Thin claws tells me his venom is a little more potent than others, but it's not one of the worst. It's not a fatal creature if it bites you, but man, that's a painful bite from a flat rock. You do not, if you're an inexperienced keeper, do not mess with this particular scorpion. There's the very thin tail, very thin stinger. Don't let it fool you. You really should look at the claws again if you're determining the toxicity of an animal. His body's a little softer again. That allows him to wedge in between the rocks where, what does he do in there? He hides from predators that might eat him, but he also is a vicious ambush predator. He can run out of those rocks really quickly if he sees something that he thinks might be a meal, another insect, for example. Quickly grab it, sting it, pull it back in, using his pedipalps as much as his claws to subdue his prey and dispatch it. So a formidable scorpion, getting more and more popular in the pet world, but it's one I'd be a little more cautious of. There are a lot of other species that are a lot easier to deal with than the flat rock. And again, characterized by his very thin claws, a very thin tail. Not a very fatal bite on this one, unless you're allergic to it, but a painful bite for sure. And it's not an animal I would keep if I were an inexperienced keeper. The African flat rock scorpion, characterized by his extremely thin body that allows him to wedge into all sorts of rocky outcroppings to either ambush his prey or to hide from predators that are trying to make him a meal. Very available right now in the pet world, but again, one to be a little bit cautious about. There's a lot of better species if you're an experienced keeper. Thank you.